Hello, welcome to Camaro Mods Channel. Hope you're having a great day. Today we're working on the PCV valve. This goes back to 2010 to clear up to 2014. GM drilled these holes way too small. So what we're going to have to do is drill them out. Okay, I got it out. You don't have to take this whole line off if you want to just pull it out and then there's a little little release right here on the side here. Okay, you see right here on the side here there's a little little tab here that you push down and then you pull it out. That's how you release your PCV valve. Once you get it out you can drill it out. I should have did this this mod months ago or couple years ago it should have been one of my first videos but this is very important to do if you don't do this then if these holes plug up then you will get you won't get the proper ventilation through your engine you won't pull the moisture out of the out of the engine you won't pull the vapors and it could cause pressurize in your in your engine it may cause some of your gaskets to leak oil it could cause uh, less fuel mileage there's a lot of problems this little part right here is plugged up this is one of the few parts that most people forget about the PCV valve it's really important to make sure you get good ventilation through your engine if these are plugged up and you can just it'll start building up sludge in your in your engine this line right here comes off your your passenger side rocker arm cover this line right here goes right to your oil catch can so if your oil catch can is not catching anything well your PCV valve is probably plugged up so what we're going to do if you don't know where the PCV valve is on the Camaro then the next segment will show you exactly where it's at and how to take it off then we're gonna go then we're gonna go and uh, drill it out okay if you don't know where your PCV valve is it's right off of this line if you got a oil catch can just take this off this line will be come into this one the line here that goes to the top of your intake manifold it will come around just like this follow it all the way to the back and just grab a hold of it it's on the passenger side rocker covers your valve covers here Let's give it a good pull. And then we'll pull this out. Okay, that's what it should look like right there. This here is a little check valve. Let's see if I can break it loose here. Okay. Now we're ready to go drill it. I had to go get my drill bits and I'll let you know what sizes they are I've got it here on my phone let me look it up real quick you don't have to be exactly this can be pretty close in the okay the top hole 
This one here at the top is 7 64 and on the bottom two holes is 5 64 Okay, the top hole is equal to about a quarter inch. And the two bottom ones, I'm not sure. I'll have to look. 564. So I have to go get my drill bits and see what we got. Okay, on the holes that I'm going to drill, let's see, it's going to be 1 8th. I might have told you a quarter inch a while ago. That's way too big. Eighth inch. That's for the top hole. And then on the two bottom holes, we're going to go with uh, one sixteenth. That's a little bit bigger than five sixty fourths. I say it's always better to go a little bit bigger than not big enough. So we're going to drill these out. One sixteenth. And one eighth. So we'll see how that's going to go. Okay, we got got a vice grip here. One eighth inch drill bit. Okay, that was drilled. Looks good. You can either use vice grips or you can just take a some kind of vice. I wouldn't recommend holding it in your hand, but just don't crimp it too hard and if you got vice grips. Okay, now we're gonna switch switch our drill bits here. Okay, you got two of them on here. Show you real quick. They're pretty small right there. Now we're gonna open them up. Okay, looks good. Looks a lot better. Blow through it. There ain't nothing left in there. That's the way it should look whenever you get done. One eighth there. One sixteenth there on both them two. It called for five sixty fourths, but I went ahead and did uh, just a little bit bigger than that because I want lots of lots of vacuum going through there. That way, I pull all the contaminants and all the. Your block won't pressure up and all that good stuff. So now we'll snap this thing back in there. It's 
all there is to it. Snapped right in there. Now we'll go stick that back on. Okay, I'm gonna run this right up under the. See, we need to run it on the top side of the. That might be a heater hose. I have tried to do this mod before, but I couldn't get the PCV valve out. This thing was stuck in there. So I kept working at it and working at it until I got it out. So I, was, I heard of this mod a long time ago, but just never did, just never did do it. Make sure it sits down in there good. I got a nitrous line. I'm gonna have to go underneath it. I don't want it. I want it to help keep push down and it's sitting there trying to work its way up. Okay, this seat down in there real good. Now we'll take the other end. We'll connect it back to the. This is a little. This here's a little check valve. It only lets your. It only lets it run one way. It runs this way and it won't let it back up. You can get you can get them when you order your catch can. Or through uh, Elite Engineering. Okay. Okay, that is done. Okay, here we are on the modern Camaro. If you need more information on this project here, it's LLT and LFX PCV valve orifice mod importance. You can go on these websites and look for more information on it. See that one, the top of it's all plugged up, and that's the, the bottom two holes. Here's your drill sizes here. But you can do a Google search and just do a search for LFX PCV valve holes too small. Go to go to different websites here. Well, this in here looks like it's already been drilled out, and this in here has been in there way too long. It needs to be replaced. Throw that one away. Okay, these two videos here, they just pretty much tell you what I just showed you, how to drill them out. And this is Camaro 5. It can cause a lot of major problems if, if they get plugged up. And they talk about going into... major engine problems don't need that 
then down here on Cadillac forms it's just a bunch of reading stuff Three point six oil consumption catch can versus modified PCV valve. I would say you probably need both. You need to modify your PCV valve and you need to have a catch can on the direct injection engines. But anyway, you can check them websites out if you want to and read up on it some more. Like I say, I should have did this. Should have did this mod a long time ago. Okay, that was a pretty easy mod. Just drill out three holes. Yeah, GM didn't drill it out big enough, and yeah, then PCV valves can get all plugged up, and it can cause all kind of trouble, so I'm going to check my other two Cadillacs. Anything from 2010 to, I believe they started changing it in 2014. So anything in the LFX and the, uh, let's see, what is it, LLT engine? See the L99 engine, the V8s. Yeah, the V8 guys need to check them out too. Just drill your holes out. If they look way too small, then drill them out. And yeah, it goes all the way back to 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14. Maybe the 14s they changed. But anyway, a few years in there that they, the PCV valves was too small of holes. So, I would definitely check that. If you got a lot of miles on your car and and it's starting to use oil and you got oil leaks and all that, you might might have a plugged up PCV valve. So it's a good idea to check that. So I should have did this mod a long time ago, but like I say, I couldn't get the it was stuck down in there and I couldn't get it out. But anyway, I kept working at it until I got it out because I wanted to get this one done. I wanted to get this video done. But I am going to check my other two cars that's got the V6s in it, the Cadillacs. Both of them's got LLT engine in them. And that's be a quick and easy fix. I'll just bring them in here and drill them out and be done with it. That way you don't have to worry about it. So okay, if you got any questions or comments, just put them down below. And uh, thanks for watching.